In this video, we're going to be going over lesson 11.1, .1, Making and Interpreting Line Plots. We're going to make a line plot to represent data given a fraction of a unit and use fractions in their operations to solve problems using data. For our first example, it says Emma carried out a science experiment. She measured the volumes of colored water in 10 identical bottles and recorded her data in a table. So we can take a look at our table. We have four different volumes in quarts and the number of bottles that are each volume. So to make a line plot, we're going to draw ourselves a line and then we're going to label each of our volumes. And we can start with zero. Now for each of our volumes, we're going to put an X vertically to represent the number of bottles for that volume. So for example, we take a look at one eighth of a quart. There were two bottles that had that volume, so we're going to draw two X's stacking vertically on top of each other. For one fourth quarts, there were four bottles, so we're going to draw four X's on top of each other. For 3 eighths quarts, there were two bottles, so we're going to draw two X's. And for 1 half quart, there were two bottles, so we're going to draw two X's. Now that we have our line plot drawn, we're going to answer some questions. The first question is, what is the total volume of the bottles? Now to answer that question, we're going to take each volume and multiply it by the number of bottles for that volume. So we're going to start by looking at 1 8 quarts. Now because there are two bottles of 1 8 quarts, we're going to multiply 2 times 1 8. Then we're going to add that to the volume of 1 4 quarts. And since there's four bottles for 1 4 quarts, we're going to multiply 4 times 1 4. For 3 eighths, there were two bottles, so we're going to multiply 2 times 3 eighths. And then for 1 half, there were two bottles, so we're going to multiply 2 times 1 half. So we'll go and multiply each of our fractions, and then we'll add those totals up. So we'll start with 2 times 1 eighth. 2 times 1 eighth is equal to 2 eighths. 4 times 1 fourth is equal to 4 fourths, which we can write as 1. 2 times 3 eighths is equal to 6 eighths. And 2 times 1 half is equal to 2 halves, or 1. So now we can go ahead and add those so we have one hole here and one hole here. So we have two holes, and then we have two eighths and six eighths, which is equal to eight eighths. So all together, there are three quarts. In the last question, we figured out that the total volume of colored water in the 10 bottles is equal to three quarts. For our next question, it says the total volume of the colored water in the 10 bottles is redistributed equally into each bottle. What is the volume of colored water in each bottle now? So in order to answer that question, we need to know the total amount of volume and the total number of bottles. We figured out already that the total volume is equal to 3 quarts. So we're going to take our 3 quarts and we're dividing that into 10 bottles. So we can write that as a division sentence of 3 divided by 10, which we can then simplify as 
three tenths of a quart. We're going to take a look at a second example now. In this example, Ben Sports sells golf tees from a barrel by the scoop. The golf tees come in five bright colors mixed in the barrel. To determine what to charge for each scoop, Ben weighed 15 scoops. The weight of each scoop is shown in the table below. Go ahead and look at the table and then pause the video to draw yourself a line plot and compare it to the one that I will walk you through. To start, we're going to draw ourselves our line, and then we're going to label the weight of scoops and ounces. So we have one ounce, one and one eighth ounces, one and one fourth ounces, one and three eighths ounces, and one and a half ounces. Now for one ounce, there were three scoops, so we're gonna draw three X's stacked on top of each other. For one and one eighth ounces, there were four scoops, so we're gonna draw ourselves four X's. For one and one fourth ounces, there were five scoops. For one and three eighths ounces, there were two scoops. And for one and a half ounces, there was one scoop. So go ahead and compare your line plot to my line plot. Now we're going to calculate the total weight of the 15 scoops. So just like the first example, we're going to take each weight and multiply it by the number of scoops for that weight. So we'll multiply 3 times 1 ounce then we'll add 4 times 1 and 1 eighth ounces. Then we'll add that to 5 times 1 and 1 fourth ounces. And add that to 2 times 1 and 3 eighths ounces. And finally, 1 times 1 and a half ounces. Now this time when we multiply, since we have some mixed numbers, we're going to have to change those mixed numbers into improper fractions first. So we have 3 times 1 is equal to 3. And then when we take a look at 4 times 1 and 1 eighth, we're going to change 1 and 1 eighth into an improper fraction. So we'll multiply 8 times 1 is equal to 8 plus 1 is 9. So it becomes 4 times 9 eighths. Now remember, a whole number can be written as a fraction by making it over 1. We can simplify a little bit by dividing both 4 and 8 by 4. So 4 divided by 4 is 1, 8 divided by 4 is 2, and so that is equal to 9 halves. You can rewrite as four and a half. Next, we have five times one and one fourth. We're going to multiply four times one, which is four, and add one, which is five. So it becomes five over one times five fourths, which is equal to twenty five fourths which we can simplify to 6 and 1 fourth. Next we have 2 times 1 and 3 eighths. We're going to multiply 8 times 1, which is 8, and add 3, which is 11. So it becomes 2 over 1 times 11 eighths. We can simplify this by dividing 2 and 8 by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 8 divided by 2 is 4. So then we're left with 11 fourths, which is equal to 2 
and three fourths. And then finally we have one times one and a half. Since we're just multiplying by one, we can leave it as one and a half. So now that we found each individual weight, now we have to add up all those weights. So we have three plus four and a half plus six and one fourth plus two and three fourths plus one and a half. Now in order to add, we need to make sure that we have a common denominator. And so between two and four, we can have four as our common denominator. So we'll add three plus four and two fourths by multiplying one and two by two plus six and one fourth plus two and three fourths plus one and two fourths. So we can add up all our whole numbers first. So we have three plus four is seven plus six is thirteen plus two is fifteen plus one is sixteen And then we have 2 fourths plus 1 fourth is 3 fourths, plus 3 fourths is 6 fourths, plus 2 is 8 fourths, and 8 fourths simplifies to 2. So we have 16 plus 2, which all together our grand total is equal to 18 ounces. Our final question asks us, if each group had exactly the same weight, what would this weight be? So we need to know the total weight of all the scoops and the total number of scoops, and we know both of those pieces of information. So we know that our total weight is 18 ounces, and our total number of scoops is 15. So we're going to take our total, which is 18, and we're going to divide that by the number of scoops, which is 15, and so we can write that as a fraction, 18 fifteenths. Since that's an improper fraction, we want to change it into a mixed number, which would be equal to 1 and 3 fifteenths. We can simplify this a little bit further by dividing both 3 and 15 by 3. So our final answer would be 1 and 1 fifth ounces.